Hey everyone, have you ever needed to create a chart that shows past and future data? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a line chart that not only compares actual and forecast data, but also includes a vertical line marking the current month, which will automatically update as time moves on. Plus, I'll share some cool tips to help make your chart look more professional, stand out, and easier to understand. And with that said, let's get into the video. Here we have a data set showing units sold by month. The months are listed in one column, the forecast in another, and the actual shown here. There's also an additional data set here that we'll use to create our vertical line on the chart to mark the current month. Our goal here is to combine these data sets together to create a line chart that shows past data in one style and the future data in another, with a clear marker for the current month. Let's get started with step one, which is setting up our line chart. To create our line chart, we're just going to select any cell in our data set, then go up to the Insert tab, and then click Insert Line Chart. And from the available options, we'll pick this first one here. And we're just going to make the chart bigger so it's easier to look at. Now that the chart is set up, let's move on to step two, where we'll add the vertical line to mark the current month. To add a vertical line that marks the current month, we'll use this additional data set here. It contains columns for x-axis values and y-axis values. The X values determines where the vertical line will appear along the X axis or our timeline, and the Y values will determine how tall the line is going to be. So looking at the chart, we expect to see the vertical line appearing at the end of this orange line here, which means when we look at the data set, we want to see what the maximum date is where the actuals are not blank. So that's what we're going to do in this cell here. I'm going to type in the equal sign, and I'm going to use the max ifs function. So we want to check the maximum month in this column, where in the actuals column, there is no blank. So pressing enter, we get the value September 2024 shown to us. And that's because September 2024 is the latest month with a non-blank value. Now in this cell below, we're just going to simply reference the same value up here. Now moving on to the Y values, this value here is going to be zero. And then this next value, what we want to do is calculate the maximum value between the forecast and actuals columns. So pressing enter, we get the value 1.9 million. And if we scroll down here, that corresponds to December 2026. So what we've done here is establish data points for a vertical line. The first data point is going to appear on September 2024. And the other one is going to also appear in September 2024 but the Y value is going to appear up here. So with that, what we're gonna do is select these cells like this, right click and copy, and then we're gonna right click anywhere on our chart and then click paste. Now taking a look at our chart, first off, our line isn't even vertical, and second, it's not even appearing in the right month. So to fix this up, let's right click our chart and go to change chart type. So right now it's selected online. Let's go ahead and click on combo and right now it switched it to clustered column for these series, but I want to change it back to a line. So we'll change that to a line, change this one to a line. And then for this one, I'm going to scroll down and select this option here, scatter with straight lines. So we can see a vertical line shown to us here, but it automatically assigned it to the secondary axis. So we don't need to do that. So let's uncheck it. Then we we'll click OK. And now we get our vertical line. And we can tell it's correct now because it's appearing in the September 2024 month and the line goes all the way up to 1.9 million. With the vertical line in place, let's move on to step three, which is customizing the lines to make it more informative and clearly differentiate the past and future data. Let's first start with the actual line. So to format it, we're just going to right click anywhere on the line and then click format data series. This will bring up the format data series pane and we're just going to click on this paint can here. This gives us all the options that we need to format our line. In this case, the only formatting change I want to make is to change the color to something like green here. So let's click green and we can see the line automatically change. Next, we're going to click on the forecast line. And because we have the format data series pane open already, we can just simply change the color of our line to something like black. And then for the dash type, we're going to use something like this dotted line. This gives a visual clue that the data is just a forecast and it's a little less certain, 
whereas the actual line is a solid line because that's what actually happened, making it a little more concrete. Finally, let's customize this vertical line. So left click it, and then we're gonna change the color to something like red, and then let's make the dash type maybe one of these dashes here, and then we'll increase the width of it to make it more prominent. Now that we've customized the lines, let's move on to the final step, which is adding some finishing touches. First, let's give our chart a title. So we're gonna select our title like this, highlight it, and we're gonna call it Units Sold by Month. Next, let's add a data label to our vertical line. So to do this, let's right click our line and add data labels. And this will add two data labels, one down here and one up here. For our vertical line, we'll only need this top label shown to us. So we can just left click this zero here, left click it again, and then hit the delete key. The last thing I wanna do here is change this data label so it's not showing the number, but something more meaningful, like it's saying the words current month. So to do this, we're gonna right click this 1.9 million, click format data label, and then we'll click series name and uncheck the Y value and show leader lines. This is gonna change our data label to say series three, and that's okay. We can just right click our chart, go to select data, and then in series three here, we'll edit it, and then we're gonna type in current month. And then we'll click okay, click okay again. And now our chart is complete. We have our actual shown on one line, our forecast shown in another, with the vertical line separating the two. To demonstrate that the chart is dynamic, let's update our data set to include more actuals. So to do this quickly, I'm just gonna select some cells in our forecast column, right click, copy, right click and paste. And we can see the vertical line move as we add in more actuals. And that's how you create a line chart in Microsoft Excel with the addition of the vertical line marking the current month. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next video.